The World Hypertension Day offers a unique opportunity to raise awareness to the dangers of an elevated blood pressure and to accelerate efforts at prevention and its appropriate treatment. Overall, the prevalence of hypertension was higher in men than in women across the country and the world at large. However, same cannot be said of the Buno East region where more than 70% of the hypertensive cases recorded in the year 2021 are females. Dr. Fred Admaku Boatin is the Regional Director of Health Services. If you look at the trend from 2018 to 2021, uh, 2018, the total number of uh, newly diagnosed hypertensives that we had was 17,196. If you look at this figure, 32% of them were males and then 68 were females. Fast forward, if you look at 2021, the total figure that we had was 21,790 and 23% of them were males and then 77% of them were females. I mean, this is contrary to what we know in the literature. Because if you look at all the risk factors, especially for hypertension, the men tend to have a number of them as compared to the women. And then for, for the women to be in the higher proportion, then we will have to start thinking about it. Dr. Fred Adamaku Boatin attributes the situation to the fact that men do not visit the hospitals for screening as compared to women. And notwithstanding, these figures are more of institution. And we know that the health-seeking behavior of women and men are not the same. The, the women bi biologically tend to have access to health facilities. But the men, even when the men have headache, they would like to go and buy paracetamol, go and do other things rather than come to the hospital. So these are all the other risks. That is what we are seeing. So the question is, where are the men? Everything projects to the fact that they should be getting it higher than the women. The region is, however, instituting new measures capable of addressing the situation. What we are doing is that we have made a last Friday of every month to be a wellness day. And we are championing this even to the sub-districts. The idea is that we will have to change the narrative in terms of the ratio of the male-female population who are getting, we are getting. All things being equal, the men should be higher or even if anything at all, it should be okay. Communication associated with the Healthy Heart Africa who are partners to the event Kwame Asimwa noted that the group is mapping out strategies to help increase awareness creation across the region in line with the theme of the 2022 World Hypertension Day. We have done about 78,000 blood pressure screenings. We've identified 21,000 people with high blood pressure. And we've been able to diagnose about 1,970 people with hypertension who have been linked to various health facilities for care. These statistics indicate that we need to intensify our efforts to create awareness in the Bono East region. And this is in line with the 2022 World Hypertension Day theme, which says, measure your blood pressure accurately, control it, live longer. The event held in the Techima municipality had key stakeholders in the health sector participating to help increase sensitization and create awareness amongst the populace. Anna Sabit, Joy News. Teach